All right, how you doing out there, YouTubers? Just doing a um, quick burning test here with the Sanwoo Pocket Laser. It's the 650 nanometer, 250 milliwatt series. Um, so I just thought I'd show you guys how well it burns, just for a little red laser. It costs about a hundred bucks. Um, you can find cheaper ones out there that will probably burn better, maybe a little better, maybe just as much, but probably not this small so that's what I love about this laser here that's what I actually like about all of the Sanwoo pocket lasers they claim to be the world's smallest pocket laser I guess for the power that they put out so let's test that theory here all right, I'm gonna turn it on here and this is uh, you know it's been fog enhanced so just to let you guys know so that you guys can see the beam and so that I can see the beam for easier burning All right, not too bad. That was good first try. Here we go for the uh, second test, burning test, for the Sanwoo um, pocket laser here. This one is the uh, 505 nanometer. It's kind of like an exotic color, um, and it's only uh, 50 milliwatts, so it's not very powerful. Doubt this thing is going to burn, but let's try. I got black tipped uh, matches here that are colored with a sharpie so let's just see if I can you know I can see the focal point because of the fog let's see if I can get this thing to light haven't been able to yet but uh, first time for everything so let's try this maybe I can get some smoke oh I'm getting smoke getting smoke you got it let's go oh actually got that thing to burn nice so yeah that was the just a 50 milliwatt green laser from Sanwoo 505 nanometer uh, color and um, pretty nice for a green laser not too bad I didn't expect that it's the first time I've uh, had one burn I guess because I colored the match black it really helped all right now for the um, third uh, Sanwoo pocket laser here this is the um, 445 nanometer, 800 milliwatt laser. So it's your blue color there. Pretty powerful, actually. Only 200 milliwatts short of one watt. So I don't even need the color. The match is black on this one. I, it, it's just going to light right up instantly as soon as I touch it. So I can see the focal point right here. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. It looks purple on camera. It's kind of odd. But uh, here we go. Boom, instantly no problem at all for this baby this is a beast of a laser for the size I mean look at that it's just amazing great job Sam Wu alright now for the uh, third and final test here <clears throat> this is the Gatling gun style laser from eBay uh, that you can get for like 50 or 60 bucks uh, it's a 445 nanometer laser color so it's gonna be blue uh, and they claim it's one watt, so I'm not sure if it's like 1.2 or maybe it's, it's somewhere around one watt. Usually they're under spec, but this thing is also a beast of a laser. This is really nice. I mean, this one really outshines all the rest, but you're sacrificing size for power as well. So you need bigger batteries, bigger host, uh, things like that. So you can't really hide it as well. But this thing will burn instantly as well. So. Let's check out the burning test here. All right, I can see the focus point right here. Let's see if I can hold this still. See the focus point there? All right, boom. Instantly touched it. That wasn't even a, uh, uh, you know, a colored match. So that was just your regular standard red match. And it burns instantly. Whew, and that is hot. All right, let's just try another burning test here. Let's try a piece of uh, paper from a phone book. I'm gonna try the black section of it to, I mean, I don't probably don't even have to try that. It's gonna burn almost immediately, I, or maybe even burn a hole through it. So let's try it. Let's see what happens here. All right. Uh, let's find the focal point. I see it right there. Boom, almost instantly. See, I just instantly touched it, start smoking. All right, there's the yellow part of the, of the uh, phone book paper whoa 
beautiful. Man, this thing is amazingly powerful. Check that out. Let me just instantly. Let's just see if I can catch the edge of it on fire here. All right. And don't worry. I've taken precautions. I have water next to me. So in case anything happens, I can just throw it in there. But uh, really all this is doing is just so powerful. It's just burning a hole straight through. All the way through both sides. So, but if you really want to, you can fold this up, and I'm sure you can catch it on fire. So, let's just give that one try here. I don't know. Might have, might get some flames. Otherwise, you're just gonna get a bunch of smoke. And well, getting some kind of uh, red embers going on there. But. Uh, very powerful, very powerful laser we got here. This one's really nice. One watt Chinese laser for 50, 60 bucks on eBay. Not bad at all. All right, last test here. Um, I'm gonna make this the last test for this particular Chinese laser here. Um, you know, the, the, the one watt blue uh, 445 nanometer. Um, laser so I have some uh, steel wool here let's just see if this thing will light on fire I might have to do some minor adjustments here while uh, we're doing this video all right let's see I just got it right on the very edge I don't have it on the focal point so let's just adjust the focal point here slowly uh, oops gotta go toward this way oh, there we go Ooh, we're getting close Check that out. Whoa. Yep, definitely getting some action going on there. Um, sorry for the shaky camera. Let's see if I can adjust the focal point just a little bit more to the point of. Yeah, go back. There we go. Well, I guess it doesn't really light it on fire, but um, it will actually call some embers so let's see if I can adjust this one last time here put it right in the middle of this thing Woo! ouch thing is hot huh very interesting hmm. not bad okay this is the final test for the um, Sanwu pocket laser this is the blue 445 nanometer laser, 800 milliwatts. So it's a little less powerful than that Chinese laser, but um, let's see what this thing can do against some steel wool here. Let me turn this just a little bit here and see if it'll do any damage. Tighten up the lens just a little bit to adjust the focus. All right, maybe push this over here just a little. I'm getting some embers. I already used this burnt piece on the last. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got some burning action going on there. Yep. So this thing will still burn just as well as the other Chinese laser. Um, just turn it this way. It's just that. Um, yeah, this is already a burnt piece. You can see that the pieces have already been singed and stuff. So uh, let's try another piece. This time, let's try a piece of newspaper, I guess, or I mean, um, phone book paper. I'm just gonna kind of stick the phone book paper like right there. Let's see if it, it. Most likely, this thing will just burn a hole straight through. Oh yeah, there we go. Burned a hole straight through, just instantly. Pretty fantastic. I uh, see. I mean, this might actually be able to catch fire. Nope. No, nah, this laser is just too sharp. I mean, before it has a chance to smolder or anything, it just burns straight through. So, getting a lot of smoke though. So anyway, this is a really nice laser as well. I really love this. This is probably my favorite laser from Sam Wu Pocket Lasers that I have. Um, haven't gotten the purple one yet. Still waiting on that one, uh, the four or five nanometer. But so far, this blue one worth the money, worth the hundred bucks that I spent, and. Uh, Recommend you guys go check them out.
All right, this is the um, last burn test I have here for the 505 nanometer uh, Sanwoo pocket laser. Uh, it's only 50 milliwatts, so it's, it's the burning capability is just really low. But uh, let's see what it can do against some um, phone book paper here. And I'm going to shine it on the black part because it just it's not powerful enough to light the yellow side of the paper. So yeah, we're getting smoke, getting some smoke up. Oh. It's starting to burn through, and yeah, you can see the beam through the other side here. It definitely burnt through, so that didn't take too long, but that's with the focal point just right on point there. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it will definitely burn through some paper. It doesn't burn per se, and it, the battery on this thing is actually dying a little bit, so I'm sure it maybe uh, would probably smoke and do a little bit like that with a fully charged battery, but. Um, other than just the laser looking beautiful as a 505 nanometer laser, um, you know, it's uh, burning capability isn't that great. So it's all right though. But anyway, um, let's try the uh, the last laser here, the um, the red one from Sam Blue. So let's see what we can do with that. Okay, now for the third and final test for the Sanwu pocket laser, the red 650 nanometer, um, 250 milliwatt laser. Uh, let's see what this thing can do against some uh, phone book paper here. And the focus point is right there. Yeah, it burns right through almost instantly. You can see the beam passing right through there on my hand. Um, let me just see if I can get a little smoke here. Just by moving it around, you can already see smoke coming up off this thing. I'm trying to burn every which direction here. It kind of helps it to just smoke up instead of just burning straight through and making a hole. Very powerful laser, too. For 250 milliwatts and a red laser at that, I mean, it really wasn't... Uh, what I was expecting so I mean this thing will definitely light matches and uh, burn paper burn anything black hope you guys enjoy these videos here the reviews and um, I look forward to doing more thanks for watching